Hey everybody, um, so we are back and today we are going to do some tarot reading. So today it is going to be about your current situation, um, your finances. Um, we're going to go over a little bit about relationships um, and career. So I definitely, um, without further ado, let's definitely get started. Thank you everybody for supporting my channel. Make sure you like and subscribe uh, to follow me if you get ready to come on with more, okay? So let's take a look. Let's see what we've got going today. I've already pre-shuffled the cards while I was meditating. Um, so I want to start off with just getting some kind of like overall energy um, with what's going on um, with everything. I'm going to go ahead and shuffle them one more time for us. Start off with the zodiac cards. Let's get this overall energy. We're gonna use our zodiac house cards today. All right. I'm gonna get some. That's the Taurus card that we got out. You got the star card. <coughs> and don't worry, I'm going to show these to you as we go. Um, so just overall energy. You have got um, Taurus. And the energy around you shows the abundance of nature. Um, and it's rich and earthy and productive. And yet very relaxed and slow. Um, this is the Taurus card. All right. So you've been you've been definitely being productive and um, having this energy around you of just pure abundance and um, you know being in your its natural in its natural state. Um, yet everything is you're not like rushing into this you you're kind of moving at a steady pace um because you're very relaxed and calm um and moving slowly with with the actions that you're taking um you also got the energy um here of the star card which is our archangel um how and um this is basically saying that there's a dream that will come true um if you just believe in yourself um, this is going to be the end to a definitely very, very difficult situation. Um, if you look at how she's pouring water um, out of both of those vessels, like neither one of those those vessels are half empty or half full. She's pouring them into, you know, a river of, of flowing abundance, um, which is backing up your original energy with Taurus. Um, having the star card, this may also have some Aquarius energy here as well. Um, and that's number 17. That's at the top of that. So... Let's go ahead and pull out some tarot cards. Allergy season has been doing a number on me. So, you know, tell me what's going on with our person. Hmm. So, we have the Four of Cups. And it, it seems like you're kind of fed up, like you're, you're tired of dealing with the same situation like over and over and not really seeing any progress um, or being treated the same way. Because um, this person looks very sad and on her shirt, it, it says, you know, I'm over it, literally on her shirt. But yet there's this glass that's coming out, out of, out of the sky, you know, out of the clouds. And, you know, that's like, it's telling you that there's the help coming from, you know, above. Like, the, everything that's been happening that seems like it's bad is going to be balancing out um, for your greater good. 
So, you know, people who are leaving your, who've left your corner or who um, were mistreating you and you decided to kind of like just give up and you're over it. Um, this is going to be good because this is going to put you in a position where you can start working on yourself um, and doing things that you really, you know, are interested in doing. Um, you're no longer going to be so, um, I won't, I want to use the word obsessed, um, but I won't say obsessed, uh, but, um, you won't be so caught up in the energy of this other person, um, because you'll be able to start, you're just going to start working on yourself. Um, cause as you, as you start to work on yourself, you got the three of pentacles here, which is working, you know, working on a project, working, um, being creative, bringing out, um, the inner artist in you. Um, you know, for people who make music or, you know, do things with creativity, you know, I keep hearing, uh, do nails or, um, you know, paint for that matter. You know, these are all, all, a lot of things that are hidden talents that people sometimes don't know that they have, or they don't realize that they have until it is, um, too late, you know, they're, where they, I won't even say it's too late cause it's never too late. For you to really like make a change or a difference in your life but and bear with me um but with the five of pentacles coming out in reverse um usually with the, the five of pentacles coming out in the upright position it, it's showing where like you and someone else are walking through this this harsh battle together but with it coming out in reverse like that it is it's showing me that this battle that you guys are, are were, were fighting um, together or that you, this journey that you guys were walking through these hard times and these, um, difficult times together are going to start to change around. And you also got the nine of pentacles. Um, and generally in the upright, I would say that this is like, you know, I would say that this is a benefit for your finances. Um, cause it, it, you know, it, it, she's this planter, she's growing things, but when it comes up in the reverse, it's almost as if like you put so much effort into this situation, um, that where you were like working on you and this person in this relationship. And it was almost as if it wasn't being reciprocated because they weren't willing to walk with you through your downside and through the struggles that you were going through. And it was to the point to where you were giving more than, than you were receiving, um, and it's it like, it's like your, what, what, what you had as a fortune, they like were trying to drain that as a, you know, from you and keep you from getting to that point. Um, let me get some, some more cards out here. Archangels, please speak to me. Spirits and God is leading me. Please uh, give me the clarity that I need to be able to understand this message clearly. Hmm. So you have the star card for the main energy of the read, which right after, you know, of course, right after that comes the four of cups. Um, and with that star card telling you to, you know, to, to, it's a dream come true. Um, and for you to just believe in yourself for that to be saying that there's like an end of a difficult situation. And then this five of pentacles come out in reverse you know, which is normally, like I said, you and someone else walking into a difficult situation. So it's like you and this person, this, you know, person, work thing or a relationship. Um, you and this person are coming to an end of how you guys have previously been doing things. Now, this may be you completely moving on because, with, you know, with that whole I'm over it moment with the four of cups. Um, this may be you completely moving on, but this also may mean that you're going to start to really value yourself and not put some other people before you. Not to say that you didn't value yourself before, but it's, it's more like before you would put everybody else's needs before your own. So it was like, and when you needed things and you had downfall, uh, yeah, nobody was really there to be, the, you know, really there. It was like this whole illusion that someone was there. Um, but it took you a lot of strength to keep pushing. You got the Queen of Pentacles, though. So this is definitely going to turn all the way around. Because, yeah, this is followed by the Empress. So all of these hardship and everything that you've gone through is with this person or this situation. Or even if, if this is a job related where you put all your energy into it. And, like, it wasn't being invested, like, you weren't being invested into. 
um, with work where, you know, they weren't valuing you or seeing you for what your true potential was. Um, but all of this was, you know, just kind of an illusion because right after that, you got the moon card. Um, and with the moon, the moon always speaks of, you know, like a, a, illusions or thinking of things, um, thinking, think of, thinking of things like in the shadow area. I also look at it as, as telling you to, to start working on your shadow work, like working on your inner child, um, and working on the inside of yourself. Uh, a lot of people, you know, wonder what, what, what people say when they mean shadow work. It, like you have all these things that have accumulated on you over the years and that are inside of you that you've either bottled in or kind of like never really let out or never really dealt with for that matter. Um, so when we say speak of shadow work, we're speaking of, you know, the things that are, that are the darker sides of us um, and bringing those things to light, making them, you know, paying attention to them, nurturing them and, and getting ourselves through it rather than just, you know, walking away from it. Um, because, you know, right after that, you do have strong Leo um, also in this read because you got the strength card and you see how she's taming this lion um, and, and the lion's not moving, you know, there's there, that wreath around both her and the lion, you know, they, they are in a high place. Um, every, I keep hearing like yellow brick road, you know, here you go down the yellow brick road. Um, but even though, you know, in the, in the Wizard of Oz, Dorothy went through a lot of stuff as, as she got to the end of the yellow brick road, like everything worked out, everything that she went through the struggle with worked out for her benefit. Um, and she learned a lot about herself internally with that. Uh, with You also have the Queen of Pentacles. So th what, what you're about to start working on is going to start putting you in a position um, financially where you are um, starting to manip you know, uh, multiply your money. Um, there's a rabbit that's on here. And when I think of rabbits, all I think is like how they um, like mo literally multiply. <laughs> um, and with the Queen of Pentacles, she's, you know, she's very poised. She's, she's very, like, on top of things. She knows what's going on. Um, and she, she's financially aware. Um, you also have the Empress card that falls right behind this. Um, and the Empress, you know, she's all about feminicity. And, you know, she's one of the most look, high looked up in the deck. Um, with the Empress card, you know, this is just saying that you're going to come, you're coming out on top. Like, you're coming out and you're going to be being recognized. You're going to be paid attention to all the um, time that they were not spending with you before. They're going to start kind of coming around again. Um, I'm going to pull some more cards just for some clarity for us. Let me get out. Angels cards. I'm going to pull out a couple of cards from our ancestors as well. got the seven of Ariel. Um, it says, you've invested wisely. Uh, have patience and wait for the harvest. Uh, review your progress and make plans for your in endeavor. Um, when I, I told you that, you know, you had that nine of pentacles in reverse, you know, this is, this is you waiting for the harvest, you know, after such a hard time, after going through so much. So it, everything that you've invested yourself and your time into um, if you just are patient, you know, everything is going to, to blossom. Like I said, you, everything's going to turn itself around. The finances are going to change around. Um, and this, this adventure that you're working on um, is going to put you into a better place. Um, yeah, because you definitely got the four of Michael right behind that. And that's telling you that insight comes from quiet meditation um, and the need to, to um, get more sleep. Um, to take more time off for yourself. Um, and then seek relief from stress. Um, you know, I meditate. Those are things that you can always do to be able to ease your stress up. Take baths, take, drink tea. Um, you also got the perspective card, which is the 12. Um, and it says there's a better way. It says posture for reflection and insight um, and dare to be different. So remember how I said that you were no longer going to be falling up under the illusion um, or wearing the, the mask of what people want you to wear? Um, or this person that's been around you is no, yeah, this person that's been around you is no longer going to wear this mask anymore. Um, because we got the magician card right after that. Um, you have to 
Ace of Michael. It's a, a, a wonderful new idea. It says, do not allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress um, with your new idea. Because remember, I told you this new idea was going to bring you into your king, queen of pinnacle mode. That's going to take you right into you becoming this empress and, you know, sitting up on your high, you know, your throne all high and mighty and looking good. Um, and remember, these energies are not either male or female. Um, they there, there may be male or, you know, female on the card, but the energy is, 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 um, more so masculine and feminine of the, of, of inside of you. Cause all of us all carry a masculine and a feminine, um, energy. It's just one is more bearing than the other in, inside of us. Um, it definitely says for you to clear up communication, um, uh, with, with the problems that you've had with others. So it seems like there may have been like a conversation that you may have had with someone, um, that, that may have led to all of, all of this breakdown that's been, you've been having, um, but it's telling you that you need to clear that conversation up and make sure, um, that the communication, you know, the thought that, that you were trying to get across or the statement that you made is, you know, understood appropriately that you communicated it well so that you can fix the problems that you have with others. Um, because you got the magician card right behind this, but you got it in the reverse. Um, and it's, it's basically letting you know, um, that you can definitely succeed and be successful. Um, if we, if we start to, to take this time to reflect on ourselves, um, and then to, to believe in ourselves with this new idea that you have, that you can do this. Um, you know, everything, you have all the resources that you need. Um, everything will appear as, as, as you're starting to, um, work on it and begin, as you begin to work on it, it's going to bring you some people that are looking at you, you know, cause you're going to start talking about this to other people, things like that. Um, and all of a sudden people are going to offer you, you know, Hey, let me help you with this. Or, you know, how much do you need for that? Things like that. So uh, things are just going to be like magically appearing. See, angels and ancestors. Yes, you got the stargazer. You need to set your sets up on a higher level, uh, reach higher than what your original goal is, uh, because you need to be able to, to trust your talents in these trying times. These talents are what's going to bring you through this hard, this hardship. Whether it's whether you had lost a job. <coughs> Excuse me. I apologize. My allergies have been acting up so crazy. Um, if you had lost a job. Or, or changing jobs or doing different things, your talents are going to be what, what sustains you during this time. Um, because you have a talent that you can utilize to be able to um, bring money into the household, whether that's you making things or you um, baking cakes, you know, um, or cooking for that matter. For those of you who have a passion, you know, in cooking, there are all kind of different things that you can do that are natural talents that you have to be able to flourish off of, to be able to make a business out of. Um, so it's telling you to trust your talent, your, your, your talents. You got the spirit box there. Um, you also got the Druid, which is it's kind of Virgo energy. Um, you definitely is telling you to hold your space. So don't rush off on making like decisions on moving, um, really fast or, uh, making like rash decisions too soon. You got the summer card, which is, which is basically telling you, um, to bask in your joy and light on here. It has a bee and a honeycomb. And that, you know, to me, when I think about the bees and their honey, it takes them a really long time to collect all the pollen that they need to make the honey for it to, to be, you know, edible for us to be able to, to utilize it. So it, it's telling you that your hard work is definitely going to pay off. Um, and for you to just trust in the higher forces, these are your angels and ancestors that are coming to talk to you. Um, make plans and focus. I'm going to pull one more card, you guys. Um, you got the peacekeeper and it's telling you to let go of the need to be right. Sometimes it's okay to be wrong. I'm going to pull two cards from our angel guide. Can I get two final cards for the overall message for our watchers, please? Mm. So the overall conclusion of your read... Um, and the, me the message that the guys are trying to provide you today is telling you, it's, it's, you received the card of letting go. Um, it says, releasing the past can seem like a challenge, but it can, it can also be liberating. Your angels will help you let go so that you can fly higher than ever before. Endings always herald new beginnings. 
um, choose to allow this situation to lead you to a more joyful life. Change your life by changing your thoughts. So I always say, you know, you are what you think. Whatever you think out there is what, what is going to happen and manifest into your world. Because before we, you know, before we even speak things, we think them. And if we start to think them, we're going to start to speak them. And that means you're speaking that negativity over your life. Let, let's start to be able to have, change our thoughts and have positive thoughts saying, I can do this. I can do this. I am worthy. I am strong. I am successful. I am beautiful. I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, you know, remind yourself of those things in, when you're having your worst moments. And you also received um, for this last card is your um, op be open to success. Um, it's telling you to look at, at all of the wonderful things that you can do when you listen to your divine guidance. Um, you've balanced so many different priorities and have come out a winner. Um, there will be a lot of recognition and praise headed your way, but do not be shy. Allow others to shower you with gratitude and the gratitude that you definitely deserve. So with that, you guys, yes, um, learn to be able to accept recognition when it's going. If someone walks up and tells you you're pretty, say thank you. You know, don't seem shocked. Uh, because you are, you're gorgeous, you're beautiful. And, you know, if you're doing good at your job and they come up and they congratulate you for that, you know, take that shit with, with, with a fucking pride and, you know, brush your shuttles off and smile and be like, yeah, thank you. I did that. I did do that. So I think we're going to actually call this that read is I did do that because you guys are going to be coming around, um, in such a wonderful light. All of your hard work is paying off no longer need um for you guys to continue to struggle in this i wish you guys the best and hope that you have a great week and weekend and I'm, i know i've been gone but i am back my ladies and gentlemen look forward to working with you guys later have a great day